Boom, peace intro. What's up, guys? Apache helicopter will be off here in a minute. Saturday morning. Sorry, guys. I've been, man, soccer games. I got cheer competition today. Ooh, Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny, rah, rah, rah. Well, not really me and my granddaughters, but anyway. Man, they're getting good at stuff. Uh, really good at soccer, everything. One of my granddaughters got a letter from uh, Barcelona, Spain to attend. She's in 7th, 8th grade, 8th grade. About to go to ninth, wanted her to attend a summer program. It's 12 grand. She's super smart. She gets into everything. And, uh, um, but it ain't so much the money to send her over there. It's, I don't, I can't, I can't, and I, I'm glad, you know, her parents agree. Um, now if I was rich, sure, because then I could provide her with great security and I could go there if something happened but I mean sure obviously we could send her there for you know but I don't have enough to make sure she's safe as well and I don't trust other countries I'm just I'm telling you I just don't I I'd have to be rich because then I can afford whatever could come up right now you know sure we probably we you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it doing it. But anyway, it's good to know that, you know, she's on her way to that. If I ever do win the lotto, most likely won't happen. They don't want you to win. Um, <clears throat> I'd be investing my money in her to go to college and learn how to help me keep that money. <laughs> she's pretty smart. But yeah, they don't want you to win. I mean, it's... And that's the truth, guys. It isn't... They make it hard for that reason. It isn't that they... I mean, Powerball used to have, what, 50 numbers? Then they raised it to 68. Said it was too easy to win. Are you crazy? It's hard to win at 50 numbers. But they don't. They can't afford... It. You just have to understand how it works. They, and several businessmen and you know, I have told you this. They can't afford for you to, to win like that. Like, you know, what was it? There was a, a Spanish guy, Mexican, or um, I think he was from Mexico, that won the Powerball last month, $1.4 which is what, $1,400 million? Who needs that? It don't have to be like that. Not that I'm saying he don't deserve money. I'm saying I don't need that much money. And they could easily make this to where, I mean, not that 1,400 people would have won, but they can make the odds better to where, you know, there could have been 1,400 people in the United States of America that just got a million dollars. Of course, after the government took their cut, you'd get 400,000, maybe, maybe, between four and 600,000, depending on what state you're in as to how much they would take. Um, but anyway, that's life-changing amounts for your average family. I mean, they can make it where you it wasn't so hard and you can win 50, 60 grand, 100 grand. That would change a lot of lives. But that would also keep a lot of people that might be on the verge of, oh, I don't know, foreclosure on their home so the bank can make thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars again from losing their home. You know, by the hundreds. Because there's a lot of people that could use that little extra money like that. But they don't. They know that too, and it wouldn't affect them one bit. They're still going to get their cut, whether they gave one man 1.4 billion or they gave 1,400 people 1 million. They're still taking their cut. They're not losing a dollar. The only thing is, that many more people would get the money, and and you know this would be better for economics because that many more people would put that money right back into the economy by paying debt buying things but the problem is that many more people will might just not fall into the edge of poverty or worse especially during covid look how many people lost everything a little fifty thousand sixty thousand hundred thousand dollar windfall could have really saved them we don't want that they don't want that face it that is the truth they don't mind making millions. What's Biden's answer every time? Like New Guinea. They're bitching about New Guinea. He said his uncle was ate by cannibals. 
Well, don't worry about it. He's going to make it up to New Guinea. He's going to send another $10 billion to Ukraine. It'll be all good now. I mean, we're going to help Israel. We need to give Israel some money. We're going to give them $10 billion, and we're going to send $40 more billion over here to Ukraine. <laughs> they don't mind doing that. But you, you, you hard-working American that's giving them all these billions that they just hand away to other people, uh, you could suffer. And that's the truth about the lottery, guys. You can think what you want. We all understand casinos. Casinos aren't meant for you to win. They're a big business problem. They, they, and, and it ain't like they, they want to keep you poor. They just don't want you to win. They're, but the government wants to and needs to and has to keep you poor. They have to. They can't afford And that's why it's that way. Because it doesn't have to be that hard to win the lottery. We all know. I mean, you don't have to win that much money. Like I said, they know this. They can make it easier for people to get a little chunk. And you know what? Even more people would play then. Because, look, I, I know I can't win, but I still buy a ticket or two. I don't go crazy with it. I buy, like, maybe five bucks on a Saturday. Powerball, a couple Missouri Lotto, maybe a Mega Millions. I mean, I, I just, I, the most I might spend on a Saturday may be ten bucks, or usually five. And, that, and that's only because, I, even though I know I can't win, I, I know I can't win if I don't play, Okay. So I at least throw my hat in there. But um, if there's several people, a lot of you may be included, they just flat out won't play because they know that they just absolutely are not going to win. And so they just don't play. And they're right. They're probably never going to win. I'm never going to win. I mean, I've been doing this for 20-something years now, and I haven't won. So, <laughs> But like I said, I just know I can't win if I don't try. And... Um, and most everyone that did win never thought they were going to win. So, you know, who knows? Maybe one day I'll win and I'll use my granddaughter there to learn how to take care of my money. But, but yeah, they, they can't afford it for it to happen. They just, they can't do it. And, um, but more people would try. If you thought that, you know, you had a much better odds of grabbing you an extra 50 grand or so, you'd do it. You'd do it. But no. They can't. I mean, seriously, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but Powerball used to be, it was still hard, but it was only like 50 numbers, something like that. And they raised it. Literally said they're, it, they're going to make it harder. Why? Why do you want to make it harder? You're still getting your cut. The government's 60% is still 60%. I don't care how much it is or how many people get it. I mean, it's, it's just because of that. Numbers will build up. You know, but one person, uh, we'll let that one person get it. We'll tax the shit out of him. And odds are he's going to blow the hell out of it. And in two years, he's going to be broke again. <clears throat> they'll, they'll deal with that. But a bunch of us, a bunch of us over and over, almost every other time, two, three hundred people win some money and pay off that debt. I just kept that bank from foreclosing on my house. You kept it from foreclosing. All these, damn it, we just missed out on some more money. We could have took that sucker to the bank. We could... You don't think they think that way about you? You're wrong. That's exactly how they think about you. Now that I just wasted a bunch of time preaching and all, I know any of you guys with half a brain understand exactly what I'm saying, and that is the truth of it. They can't afford to let you win. They, they you're, you're, you're more, you're worth more to them poor. All right. They, and that's when we were younger. You probably heard the same thing. I always did. My parents, everybody else. Well, they just got to keep a rich, rich, and a poor, poor. I was always like, what the hell are you talking about? That don't make no sense. Oh, that's where another one comes in handy. Ignorance is bliss. You walk around happy as hell as a child because you're dumber than shit. Once you get, once you, once, well, I shouldn't say dumb. You, you lack education. That's ignorance. Lack of education. So don't feel bad when somebody calls you ignorant. I'm ignorant. I lack education. Nobody can know everything. So we're all ignorant to some point. But that's what they meant by ignorance is bliss, because that one always stumped me, too. What do you mean? How can you even be happy to be stupid? Well, you ain't stupid. You just aren't fully ed educated in that subject. And so, yeah, that's why we're all happy. But then as you get older, you're like, damn. Perfect example. I can't wait to be out of school. I'm so sick of school. I want to be on my own. I want to get a job. I want to get, you get all that stuff. You're like, man, I want to go back to school. I want to let mom and dad pay all the bills. 
anyway, let's let's get on a roll here. Got a package in I had no idea was coming from Grandpa Larry. Which Grandpa Larry, I know you just scored on the uh the sticker drawings, but you don't have to send me nothing like that. Shoot, you you played the game, you won. <clears throat> and uh appreciate whatever it is, but no, you don't owe me nothing for that. Heck no. We all do this. And also, guys, I've shipped out your packages, and this is no joke. I dropped them off at 3.49 Monday, I believe. The very next morning, I think it's Mr. Proust. Hey, James, or not the morning, sometime in the hour, I was at work. Can you check on the package? Because it says delivered. And so I checked all six or eight packages that I dropped off. And every single one of them say delivered to all of you guys. Mr. Brown, Grandpa Larry, um... All you guys, if you can let me know, because I can't, I went up there, they can't change it. They can't fix it. They say it's all going to be delivered, but that the person scanning them was new and had it set on the wrong setting when I dropped them off. So it scanned everything as delivered. And now I know Mr. Proust got his, but, um, uh, let's see. Trevor Samuda, Trevor Samuda got his. Um, I know Mr. Spahar got his, but his was the only one I sent you UPS. I sent the rest of them through the Postal Service. And UPS is, is doing way better than the Postal Service lately. I, I don't know what, what they're doing. I mean, a <clears throat> uh, perfect example is, <clears throat> man, I've had allergies all night. woke up with a bad headache. Um, perfect example of the Postal Service is this. Check this out. I've had cars coming from Big J's. Okay? Make sure you guys can read this. Hey, Analia, Sophia, uh -huh. Maria, Conchita. That's the smart one. Barcelona. Um, yeah. Okay. You see all this? What does it say? Shipment. Perlin, Texas. Departed Perlin, Texas. Arrived in Missouri City. Went to St. Louis. Arrived back in Missouri City. Went to St. Louis again. Or departed St. Louis. Wait a minute. Let me get this right. Arrived St. Louis. Arrived at St. Louis. Departed Missouri City. Departed St. Louis. Arrived at Kansas City. Arrived at St. Louis. Arrived at Kansas City. Departed Kansas City. Arrived at Independence. It's like, what are you guys doing? And finally says, departed Independence. Arrived at Post Office. And now it says, out for delivery. Holy cow, man. So is it coming today? I don't know, but it's turns out I got three of the Honda NSX and only two of the Hornets. So... <clears throat> Dang, excuse me, guys. So, there'll be two Hornets, or I'm sorry, one Hornet and two NSX in the sticker drawing, all on the same one. It'll be first, second, third. They'll all three go on the same sticker drawing. Should I get them? Um, I haven't made the sticker drawing yet because I don't have them yet. But um, anyway, that's a prime example of what the post office has been doing lately. Now, let me try to find you guys. There it is. Okay, Mickey Nasty, dude. I can't even get your tracking to show up. It's, it's, it's status not available. I mean, dude, I'm, I'm so scared now with all this stuff. So, anyway, hopefully, hopefully it rise, buddy. Mr. Tom Brown, um, yeah, it, yours says delivered. It's, it, it wasn't delivered, man. See, every one of them say that. Every one of them say delivered. April 15th at 3.49 at Independence. It was delivered at Independence. Yeah, that's the post office. That's where I dropped it off at. Every single one of them. Yeah, when Mr. Proust told me that, I checked into it. And it turned out every package I dropped off did that. So I went up there. Oh, we're sorry. We can't really change it. They should change it when it gets to the warehouses. Well, as you see, nobody's changed it. So anyway, Mr. Brown, if you could just please let me know you got it. Comments or whatever. You guys can email me. Um, uh, Mr. Baker, Grandpa Larry, please let me know. 
Um, I gotta, I gotta notice cause I have informed delivery. It claims both of you guys are supposed to be getting it today. It says delivery scheduled today. Now, is it true? I don't know. Um, because it also told me that about Mr. Pruce. It gave me a scheduled delivery today for Mr. Pruce, which Mr. Pruce already got his cause he told me that a day or so ago. So I'm telling you, they are screwed up. Godfather, Mr. Eddie P. Ask your wife, what's going on with the Postal Service, man? What's up with that, dude? Dang, man. They're just going crazy over there. Uh, yeah, Mr. Pruce, he got his. Um, Mr. Spahar, he got his, but I sent it through uh, Samuda. Trevor Samuda, he got his. Look, okay, okay, okay. Um, Aaron, Aaron House. Dude, yours is the same problem as McNasty. It will not show me anything. Status not available. Um, but I sent it and yeah, after I sent it, I noticed that, uh, you had bought more stickers for the next two drawings. And I think you even said, you might want to hold off on that box. Well, I already sent it, buddy. You had enough stuff over there. I want to get it to you. You don't need to wait forever. And maybe that'll give you some good luck. You might win again, which, oh my gosh, guys, he bought, this guy's pulling Mr. Pruce's here, man. He is buying some stickers, guys. So he has a good chance, but as you know, buddy, Mr. Bruce can tell you that don't guarantee you you're going to win. But anyway, if you do, no problem. I'll put it over there and I will send it again. Um, but yeah, same thing, buddy. I hope it makes it. I have no way of getting it now. They, all I can do is trust that it arrives to you by before the year's over. Um, let me see if that's everybody. I think that's everybody. So, yeah, if you guys can let me know when you get your package, that would be great. Um, uh, because I, I don't know, man. I just, I don't know what else to do. Anyway, we'll get to these packages. I'm going to do the sticker drawing on the pink skyline and the blue BMW second place. I'll probably do it tomorrow or, or this afternoon after cheer i'm not sure but the reason is is i just dropped the stickers i just mailed all your stickers off <clears throat> oh probably an hour ago they already took them but um and i sent oh i think mr spahar his numbers and i sent mr Pruce his numbers but i like those to be gone out of my possession before i do the sticker drawing and i don't know if they'll be postmarked in time because I want, I just, I don't, I don't want, I don't, I don't want it to be able to be said that, oh, I changed the, I can't change them if I don't have them, okay? And I wouldn't do it anyway, but you always, you got to cover your ass from people that make accusations about stuff for some reason. So I just make sure it's not possible. I don't have it. I can't, I can't camper with it if I even wanted to, you know what I mean? Which I can't control the numbers anyway. Anyway, I just like it to be gone before I do the drawing. Um, and there are, they're gone now. So probably this afternoon, um, or maybe tomorrow morning, we'll do the drawing on that. Now I did put these up. They're up there, but I didn't tell anybody. I, I think I mentioned to one person, um, but then all you guys apparently found it because there's only like eight stickers left, but this is first place and this is second place. And, uh, but there's only like eight stickers left for this. Um, but it's up on the sticker drawing. And I was going to make a video, so I, I put it up because I got some more in. I actually got four more in from the guy. And I'm real close to getting that Nismo. Dang, that Nismo. I didn't know it, but he's like, that thing's going for $150. And I was explaining to him, I, I know, man, but I'm not eBay, so I can't. I'm paying a good chunk for it, but I'm not paying $150 for it. And um, I'm real close to getting it. And uh, I think it's going to come with the Chrome... Uh, 2000 gt skyline something like that i'm not sure i don't have it yet so we'll wait and see but i'm hoping to get it because i know a lot of guys wanted that one and um but anyway these are up there like i said first place second place and uh, there's only like eight stickers left so we should be doing that one soon. and then i just i did get the other two and i put them up this morning Two of these. Check it out. This one's going for a lot more than I thought it was. And uh, 
Um, but anyway, first place, second place. This one's not really going for that much. Probably 60 bucks. And and I know these now because when I'm trying to get them from the guy, I have to get on there and see if what he wants me to give him is even worth it. And I already told him I'm not paying eBay prices. It, go ahead and sell them on eBay if you can. Whatever. So I think that the reason why I didn't get the whole bundle like I wanted is he's been trying to get more for them. Parting them out here and there, and when he can't, he gets back a hold of me. Which, you know, that's fine. I can't blame the guy. He's his personal collection, apparently, and he needs, you know, the money. So I'm I'm not trying to gank him, but I'm not paying those prices. If I was, I just could buy them off of eBay. But I get them because I know a lot of guys like to have them, and I throw them in his sticker drawings, and I, um, I let you guys win them. Now, there have been a couple I did get from him that people have, were looking for. And I just got them for what I could get them for, and I gave them to those guys. Like Mr. Luz, I'm still asking him about, you said you needed the, I'm pretty sure it was the orange Ford. And I, I've asked him, but he, he hasn't sent me any pictures of it. And Because I guess he has a lot of them, what he says, but because he, he said, I don't think I have that. And I was thinking, you don't think? How do you not know? <laughs> but I don't know. And I, and I don't know the guy, so I don't know where these cars are really coming from. But anyway, um, I did get these. I got all four of those in. And uh, these just came the other day. But yeah, same guy. And uh, they're clean. Nothing wrong with them. Um, but yeah, first place, second place. And I don't know how long they'll be up there. Uh, I don't know how fast they'll go because they were hot items when they came out. But yeah, this one here is going for like 120 I think it said. And I look for the cheapest price on eBay. I don't go for them outrageous ones because I seen this one up there for like 100 also, but I found somebody that had it for like 60 bucks. So, which I was kind of surprised it was cheaper like that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, those are up there now. And when I get the NSX, you know, the if that comes in, I'll put those up there. All three of them will be on the same deal. And, uh, and of course, these are only first and second place on these drawings, but um, a lot of times I look and see before I do the drawing if I got something I could throw in third place for the heck of it. So we'll see if that happens. But um, the when the Kaido show up today, there'll be three there. So there will definitely be first, second, and third on that. And um, and like I said, I I know that most people probably already have the Hornet maybe even the NSX, but the NSX did just finally drop. But the Hornet, it dropped a month or so ago, and I didn't get mine because it was tied up with another order, so I had to ask the guy to send it to me, and he did. And um, <clears throat> so a lot of you may already have that. But um, So I'm not sure how I'll put them up there. Um, probably first place NSX, second place NSX, third place Hornet. And, um, of course, if first place guy wins second place, he gets the Hornet, not the other NSX. And, uh, we'll go from there. And then, um, but anyway, so there's all that covered for now. And like I said, if I do get that Nismo, um, Skyline everybody was liking, uh, I'll let you guys know and I'll put it up on the drawing. But yeah, it's like 150 bucks, and it's it's ranging. There it is, that one. That's the one, and 150 is about the going deal. I can't find it cheaper. Um, I've seen one for well, okay, 118 plus 860 shipping. That's a little cheaper. 150, 150, two. Uh, that's not the same one. 150, 150. Dang, that pink one was going for 120. Didn't know that. 150, 149, 149, um, 200, you know. So, like I said, I look for the cheapest one. And apparently there's one on there right now for 117. 117 and $8.60 shipping. <clears throat> so... But yeah, I'm not going to pay him that. He can go ahead and uh, put it on eBay if that's what he decides to do. Because I'm not paying that. I mean, what? why would I do that? So anyway, 
There we go, guys. And now we're going to see what Mr. Grandpa Larry sent me. And like I said, buddy, you don't have to do that. Um, when you win, you just, you, you won. You didn't owe me anything, which, not that that's why you sent it. I'm just saying, just in case. And yeah, please let me know when your package arrives. Um, I don't think I knew what else to send you extra of. I think I sent you maybe a couple extra premiums or something. Um, I can't really remember. When I pack, when I ship up eight packages at the same time, it's kind of hard to remember what I stuck in everybody's box. Unless, like, a certain person asked for something specific. I'll usually remember that because, you know, you asked for it. And, uh, yeah, that Barracuda coming out, guys, Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to get them, but Mr. Luz, irredeemable. He asked me months ago, so I'm hoping to get me one and him one. And uh, if I can get, I'm hoping for four. I don't see it happening. But if it does, two of them will go on a sticker drawing. But... I'm hoping to at least get two, because then I can get one, and Mr. Deemable will get one. And uh, But it's going to be a lot harder now. And they're raising the prices automatically. Here they go, and they started charging you to be a member of the club thing. Now the cars are like 27 bucks when they used to be 20 You know, it's like they're just inching it up, but whatever. I'll, I'll, I still want it. And um, so I'm, I'm going to try to get at least two, which I got a good chance if if it's possible, because my son's going to jump on there and I'm going to jump on at the same time. And I'm going to get, I'm hoping to get me one and he's hoping to get one. And, but he's faster at it than I, I am. He, he'll pull up several windows and go to his other account. I'm afraid. So I, I finish one account, then I pull up my wife's and I'm usually too late by then. When I'm at home, I, I'll do two because I'll use my phone on my account and I'll use my tablet for my wife's account. But I'm afraid to go back and forth on my phone because I'll mess around, mess up, and lose them both. But he does it, you know how these younger guys are. He do it, he does it real quick, you know. You know, and he's on the other one. Me, I'll hit the wrong button and the whole thing will close up on me. So good chance I won't be able to get him because I think everybody wants that car. And now we're I, I just don't know. But I'm gonna try. James, these toys have been in boxes hidden away for a while. They're gifts for you for being who you are. Thanks, buddy. Have many more boxes to inspect and investigate for possible appreciation to others. They gave me pleasure, but it's time to thin the herd. Grandpa Larry. Thanks, buddy. And I know what you mean. I've been doing the same thing. I got. I'm trying to just keep what... I really like and certain things like that and the rest of them I've been giving them away um, this seems like it's easier to do that because I don't know what else to do with them and uh, that's why I said I came across I'm gonna have to show his box again because I came across it because I kept it separated because there's too many cool cars in it most of them older ones and uh, I was looking through there and man it's like I want to keep every one of them so those, because there are some of the basics I'm still keeping, but there's just so many I got that I really didn't need. And uh, even some of the ones that I really like, I've been giving, I'm giving them away as well because I don't, I'm, I don't know, you know what I'm, I'm trying to be more picky about what I keep. I have so many left to get rid of, man. I started going through boxes the other day and golly, what a mess, man. They're just everywhere. Oh yeah, I forgot. Grandpa Larry likes to number them. He numbers them and then like you have an order to and, and what what they are he goes through a little work putting them in there me if you've gotten boxes from me you might notice i try to wrap them up real good and all but i just i they're in there there ain't no specific order about anything a little something to get you started number one all right let's see what we got going on <laughs> okay all right right on right on Sharpies. Sharpies. I don't really use these. However, well, I use them at work. Um, actually, I, these. this is a daily pen for me at work. Blue and red. They're my daily pens. Because uh, I, I build stuff and that's what I use. However, I don't use them on my customs. But there are times when I, I can. 
but it's not as bad with I've noticed because I tried using these which I'll keep these for that um, but like if you spray a lacquer clear or something over one after you've done that it's like it doesn't matter how long it's set there and dried it'll just bleed this and then like if I use it on my tail lights or something and then I come back and I clear it it like bleeds it now well I shouldn't say I don't know how long because usually I've done that like the next day maybe if I, it dries longer it won't bleed it but um with this other stuff that I clear with the triple thick glaze which is well it's hard to use but it does a great job if you can just master it and um i've been wanting to try the 1k but i haven't it's kind of expensive and anyway i, I like that clear my, my gloss jobs my clear jobs are pretty good i think but it doesn't tend to eat the paint up and make it run like a lacquer clear does so yeah these may come in handy right there right on that's number one let me see, are these anything else? Oh, number two. Number two. Future projects. Number two. Yeah, I forgot. This is what Grandpa Larry does. Usually you see him send his stuff to Mustang Hunter and stuff. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I actually have about six of those. I was gathering up because those Mustangs I do. This is what I use. And I'm going to do more. Which I lost my list. I wrote all you guys down that said you wanted a dang Mustang. Now I got to try to go off my memory who said something. Because I, <clears throat> I had my list here. I was cleaning stuff up. And I think it got put in with the other pieces of paper and got thrown in the trash. So I'm forgetting everybody that said they wanted one of those. One of those monster ones I just did. I was like, dang it. And I wrote it down to make sure I wouldn't. So I'll have to try to use my list. But yeah, there's three more. Sweet. And then... Yeah, now that's it right there. Those are perfect for General Lee's. 69 Dodge Charger. Because I keep, I, and I didn't have any of these. I keep trying to find them because, uh, and I keep coming across the Charger 500. That's not the same thing. It's not the, it's not the General Lee. Um, this is the 69 Dodge Charger. This is, yep, this is perfect for the General Lee. And I have somebody in there keeps asking for a General Lee. I answer them in the comments, but they don't, I don't think they see it. Um, I can't remember your name. I want to say it was a girl's name. Maybe they're just using a girl's account. I don't know. But yeah, I'll try to get you a General Lee. Um, it might take a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's three of them right there. I got it. Yeah, I was going to say, do I got that one? Yeah, I do. It's right up there. Yeah, I don't take them out of my collection. These are ones I would keep. But yeah, I got this car. It's right up there. And, uh... But now there's three perfect for General Lee's. And um, right on. Then we got number three. Warming up. Warming up. <laughs> you ever get something from Grandpa Larry? Oh, man, that's how he does it. Oh, yeah, check that out. Sweet. Yeah, I don't have these. I never even seen those. Check out those Matchbox cops car, cop cars. Nice. Those will go in the box with the other cop cars. 56 Buick Century. And then a Hot Wheels. Highway Patrol. I don't think I have that one either. I don't. Sweet. Yeah, I'll be keeping those. Yeah, these older cars like this, they just remind me of some of my old favorite movies as a kid, man. Like American Graffiti, um, Return to Macon County Line, obviously Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, which, you know, that's not quite that old. I think that was more of the 70s and all, but just them older movies that were cool like that. <sighs> One for the grandson. Man, that baby's too nice. 
Look at that baby. Hooey. Shoot, I don't want to give that to him. <laughs> we'll see what's happening. Actually, him and my granddaughter have been going through. I've been letting them pick out all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, she's going to see these. Yep, granddaughter. She's going to see that, and that's a chase. Yep, yep. That's a rare. That's a, she don't call them chase. She calls it a rare. A ultra rare. That's an ultra rare. See, it's gold. That's gold. That's an ultra rare. No, that's it's really just a regular car. No, it's not. It's an ultra. Oh, oh okay. I didn't. I didn't realize it. Yeah, she's gonna like that. Dang, that one's sweet too. I got some of this series. I ought to keep that with it because I don't have the '49 Merc. Of course, she's gonna say that's a rare too. Dang, I heavy too. Metal bottom. Right on. Yeah, I'll see if my grandson wants that. I'll try to be like, you want this one? I know it's not that cool, but do you want it? And he'll be like, ah. like, all right, well, if you don't want it, man, I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> Four. Dang, buddy. All right. Two, three more. Four, five, and six. All right. Heating up. Number four. Heating up. Now, he really put some uh, thought into this stuff. Oh, dude, that is killer. I haven't seen that one. Maisto Outlaws. I have some like that. I get those whenever I see them, but I haven't seen this one. Check that out. This must be older. It says 07. Yeah. I wasn't collecting an 07. Check that out. I wish they'd bring those G machines back, man. Those things were too cool. Sweet. Those in the Tom Daniel. I'd like to get some more of these Tom Daniels, the ones I missed out on. But they're outrageous now. The bus and everything. Oh, dude, check that out. That is sweet. Kings. Slammed Monte Carlo. Check that out. Cruising America, 02. Man, that's a beauty, too, man. Wild, 02. Man, he got some heat in here. And we got number five. This looks like it might be a five pack or something. Some heat in here. So, some heat in here. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, this is one. It's an older one, too. Yeah, I don't have that. More cop cars. Highway cruisers. Sweet. Check that out. Yeah, I don't have that one. That's 2000. Right on. Sweet. Yeah, those cop cars are all going in the same spot. All right, guys. Keep this bubble wrap, obviously. Number six, the goodies are in here. Well, heck, buddy, I've already got a bunch of goodies. Can't imagine what would be in here. Oh, dude, muscle machines. I didn't even know muscle machine had a cop car. 40 sedan delivery. Check that out. Oh, dude, look at all them. Man, I've never seen those. Man, that baby is sweet. Muscle Machines Police Department. 
Oh, that is cool. I've never seen that. See, I need to come back with cool stuff like that, man. 2004. Oh, that is awesome. There's another one here. Oh, dude, it's the 57 Chevy. I was just looking at the back of that saying, man, I'd like to have that 57 Chevy. Oh, there's two. The one's a Fury. This is the Chevy. Yeah, I was going to say, there's another one. But no, I seen this. I was like, oh, dude, I'd like to have that one. But I'd like to have all of them. Man, that 29 Model A is sweet, too. Look at that. God, every one of them. I didn't know these existed. But yeah. 57 Chevy. Dang, look at that. Yeah, you can just bet Grandpa Larry has some stash. If you've seen videos where Grandpa Larry has sent stuff, he has some stash because he's got some goodies. Oh, man, that is awesome. I'm going to put these with the ones Mr. Proof sent me. I got a bunch of muscle machines now. It kind of, it's kind of a bummer, but I don't, I got so many muscle machines that I wanted to make a case and open them all. Um, I know I, I don't normally open mine because of storage and all, but I just think they would all look cool opened in a nice wall cabinet, you know? But I haven't got one built yet, so they're still packaged up. And, um, oh yeah, but look at that. Is that not awesome? Oh yeah, that 29 Ford Model A. Dang. Fire. So is that Fury. 57 Plymouth Fury. Look at that. It's a Ford Sedan Delivery. So I guess there must be six to this set. Because there's two of them. Yep, those two right there. Wow, those are awesome, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, I love the cop cars. I don't know why. I just think that maybe it's just like something a kid always likes. <clears throat> like I said, I don't want to ride in them. And uh, lately, I don't really like how they are. I mean, I don't know. I've run into some cool cops. But you see some of these cops on these videos, and I guess there's got to be some bad cops somewhere, but... Man, when I was a kid, I just remember cops being cool. I mean, they were nice about stuff. They didn't freak out on every little thing. I mean, it was just really cool. But I guess, you know, people were were friendlier. Nowadays, everybody wants to shoot at. I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm not a cop, so. But, yeah, it wasn't. they weren't always mean like that. And I grew up, like, in California, Santa Ana, Barrio Santa Anita. It was gang shootings all the time, man. And, um violence and the cops weren't trigger happy didn't seem to me they never shot it we'd run through the neighborhoods having bb gun wars jumping on roofs i mean bb guns guys yeah dangerous stupid no goggles to protect our eyes no nothing i couldn't tell you how many times i've been shot with bb gun and uh how many times i shot somebody with a bb gun i mean it was bb gun wars that's what they were it was crazy I mean, you break windows through the neighborhoods, parents come out, yell at you, yeah, or you can't tell your dad, he better get over here when he gets home, fix that damn window. You know, just shit like that. Nowadays, call the cops, cops show up and swat, get on the ground. Dude, he was just playing with a damn BB gun. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand when you go up to a cop with these BB guns today that look like a real gun and, and, and you point it at them or something. Well, that's just stupid. Or they tell you to put it on the ground and you don't. Just, just, it looks like a real gun. I kind of somewhat understand that. Um, as far as, you know, if you're going to point it at them. But there's too many of them I see where they shot a kid just because it looked like he was going for, I mean, come on, man, give them a chance. I mean, I'm already over here. I'm behind my door. I got armor on. I'm aimed at you. I can give you a little bit of a chance to at least bring it up and point it at me or something, you know? Which, once they do that, I can't blame them if 
know, if some kid got shot or with a BB gun because he'd done something stupid like that. But just rolling up on people, anyway, I don't know. They just weren't like that anymore when I was a kid. They just were a lot friendlier. I mean, give you rides home. When you broke down on the side road, they stopped to help you. Now, if they stop, it's because they want to run your ID. They want to see if they can take you to jail. They don't, they don't stop to help you. You know, it's very seldom, which, I don't know. I don't know. I guess times have just changed, you know. I don't know. It's, it's all about money, I guess. But anyway, I like the cop cars, especially the black and whites. They were always my favorite was black and whites. And uh, so appreciate that, Grandpa Larry. Thanks, buddy. All this cool stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep these markers because there's times when I need a real fine line and I've been wanting to try it again. Um, and I think I will. Maybe you guys can let me know if you've experienced with this. That was my problem the last times I tried to use these. When I needed a fine line, is I'd get those drawn where I need them, like maybe a little Derek, Honest Diecast. He does some excellent headlight work. I don't know if he's using these or what, but, and I've seen a few other guys. But when I've tried in spots, it looks real good. And then I clear it and it runs. It would run, so I quit using them. But, but actually, I haven't tried it again since the times I did use it with my clear glaze, it didn't run with my clear glaze. But anytime I have to use lacquer or a matte finish, it runs it. And so I don't know, maybe I didn't let it dry long enough or something is there you guys tell me because i'll i don't know but i'll try them again because them fine lines like that they work a lot better now i do it all with a brush all those little itty bitty details that's paint and a real fine brush i mean real fine guys let's see if i can get it over here well i got one even finer than that but you see that itty bitty itty bitty little tip and if it, there it is Turn it sideways, you can get it a little bit wider, but I run it on the point right there. And uh, I have one a little finer than that. But um, just because I didn't want it running. But yeah, it's so much easier if you can just take a pin and. But it is what it is. So anyway, there we go, guys. Thanks again, and I'll try to get the, um, like I said, the sticker drawing, or yeah the drawing for the um, pink uh, Nissan done skyline this afternoon or tomorrow morning and uh, we'll go from there so again guys y'all take it easy peace outro